name is your girl Shayna Renee and we are back for another video. Super exciting. It's another vlog. I know you guys have been loving the vlog, so of course I gotta keep providing the vlogs for you guys because why would I not? It's just hot. You know, you gotta keep it hot. So today I'm actually at a winery, which you guys will be seeing in my next vlog. So make sure you guys check out the next vlog that drops after this one. But pretty much in this vlog, I'm just doing like self-care, taking pictures, and just prepping for my trip to the winery. And now I'm finally here. But before we get into this vlog, I want to shout out today's sponsor, JBW. Thank you, JBW, for sponsoring today's video you guys know i love me a jbw watch that is the only watch wear that i wear at the moment and right now i have one of my newest watch from them and this is the arc watch from their newest collection ever since i got this watch i've been loving it it's so cute it's super dainty and it's super similar to the old one that i had but this one is so much smaller which i love because it makes it way better for like everyday wear so this is the ARC watch. This is an ARC single. They also have an ARC double. But I really love this watch. Of course, I have it in the gold tone. You guys know I love gold accessories because I love the way it stands out on my skin. This watch is timeless, classy, and it just gives, of course, all the extra vibes to all of my outfits. So I definitely love that. You guys know JBW has all the deals. And of course, I have a code for you guys that I'm going to leave right here on the screen. Make sure you guys use my code for so many off. And I'll also have my link and my code in my description box. Listen. If you do not have a JBW watch yet, I don't know what you're waiting on. Like, this is the It Girl watch. Like, seriously, everybody has this watch. And I feel like it's the perfect entry watch. It's super affordable. It's classic, timeless. Like, it'll go with all your looks. Like, this watch is amazing. You guys know I have a bunch of watches from JBW, but this is definitely one of my favorites. I get so many compliments on this watch every time that I wear it because when I tell you this watch really stands out, the diamonds are super shiny. This watch has 12 S13 diamonds and it's also surrounded by over 800 crystals. So we're really shining on them. I always tell you guys that. So I love that about the brand. And you also get a really cute um watch holders to store your watch in which is amazing because they give you all the luxury vibes so if you guys do not have a jbw watch make sure you guys go get this one especially it's super lightweight it's just beautiful so get into the watch look at that look at the shine so so pretty so yes once again this is the arc watch from their newest collection the arc single in the gold tone and it also had like i told you they also have a, um a double band one so if you don't want this one you want some extra flavor check that one out as well once again use my code use my link and save some coins honey like that is the best part about all this so that's all for today once again thank you jbw for sponsoring this portion and this video so yes let's get into today's vlog and i hope you guys enjoy Hey guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Shayna Renee. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe for the vibes. So, it's Monday. And excuse my appearance, like, I'm getting my hair done on Wednesday. So I got two more days. I'm actually probably going to take this out tomorrow. Um, Because it's looking crazy. Like, I mean, once I fix up. This is like out the bonnet. Once I fix up and like fix my hair, it'll look a little bit more decent. But I'm tired of this half of half down. Like this part is starting to like irritate me like when I sleep. So it's time to get my hair done. But if you guys watched my last vlog and if you haven't, make sure you guys pause this video and head to my last video and let's like catch up. Um, I said that I couldn't get my hair done last week because my hairstylist was out of town. But I think she lied because... I saw her in a lounge last night on Instagram. But I don't care. Nevertheless, I'm getting my hair done on Wednesday. And um, that's what's happening. So I'm excited about getting my hair done because I'm actually doing a middle part. I think I'm doing a leave out. Yeah, leave out middle part. And I haven't done like a leave out sewing middle part in like the longest. Because my leave out used to be so chopped before I did um, my big chop to go natural and i'm excited so i'm doing like a jet black middle part and i want it with like soft wave curls and i want like the fishtail braid that has been trending recently 
in my hair so i'm excited to see how that looks and i actually have like a content day planned this week the girls try to start really planning out her content i'm talking about instagram content yeah like my personal instagram content i haven't really been like taking my instagram that seriously i just kind of post like whenever i go somewhere but i'm like no i gotta be consistent with all my content this is how you get brand deals by being consistent on all your platforms not just youtube or tiktok or whatever so i actually want to do a content day at a coffee shop and i have like this image in my head like just something very minimal i want to wear like black like these new sunglasses i wore with my hair done and with like a little matcha latte and just take a cute little picture so that's just my plan i'm supposed to do that on wednesday so i'm getting my lashes done on wednesday my hair done on wednesday and i'm doing the shoot same day so my hair should be fresh everything should be looking good um that's all i really have planned out for this week um i'm taking some new arrival shots today for my boutique with my hairstyles actually so i'm gonna ask a girl did you really go out of town um so i'm shooting with her today that that was actually one of my first models actually not one of she was my first model that i ever used on my site when i stopped modeling for myself so excited to have my girl back because she ain't modeling me in a minute um so we're taking some pictures today for some items it's only four new arrivals but we're gonna get that content out there um what else what else what else I have to ship out orders today. And your girl, today is June 13th. Ugh, I had to pay my student loans yesterday. I'm just so annoyed. Like, anytime I have to pay my student loans, I just get into a bad mood. Like, if you have student loans, comment below. Like, I hate them. Mine are with um, Sally Mae, which I hate because it's a private loan company. Shout out to my mom for signing me up with them because they're just the worst. I just want to get all my student loans canceled. Like, headache. But anyway um what was, I, what was i saying shit i forgot anyway i forgot what i was saying just like that that's crazy but last night i made um soul food so let me update you guys on yesterday because i did not vlog so i made soul food yesterday and i'm going to show you guys how it came up came up because i posted on my story so this is my soul food that I made yesterday. I made fried chicken, yams, sauteed garlic spinach, and macaroni and cheese. And when I posted this on my story, somebody got around me like, oh, it looks like that came from the store. Like, what? You're a hater, first of all. Like, do you see that? And I had to post this video after, like, because people was really trying to play me talking about I didn't make that. Like, first of all, presentation is everything with food. Like, I hate when people post food and it doesn't look appetizing. Like, because you didn't have to post that. You could have just ate your food and kept it pushing. Whenever I show my food, it has to be looking good because I'm big on food presentation. If the food don't look good, I'm not eating it. That's just me. That's just how I feel. So, I'm just like, you know what? I got something for y'all. And it kind of just sparked my interest in what I actually have planned. Once I move into my new apartment unit, I do want to start a cooking series on my channel for you guys called um cooking with shayna or shayna could cook something like that and i just will show you guys how i prepare my food my personal recipes and how just to make cooking easy because i feel like cooking is super simple but people make it like so complicated hold on guys hello hello Yeah, I don't know who that was. So anyway, um, yeah, cooking is super easy, and it's just like, um, how he was telling me they can't make certain things, or they just think it's hard. And I used to think like that before I really started cooking myself, but I'm at the point now where I feel like I could literally make anything, and I just really know how to cook really well. So I do want to share a lot of my recipes with you guys as like a whole different segment, because I do enjoy cooking, and I do cook a lot, so... Stay tuned for that, but I'm actually about to eat my leftovers right now and then get ready for my day. And then I'll see you guys in a few. Okay guys, so I just heated up my leftovers. The yams are on this side. No crazy presentation for this, it's just leftovers. So I'm about to eat that. And yes, I eat leftovers for breakfast. I don't care how early it is, it's 11.42. So technically, technically 
it's lunchtime, early lunch, so I'm eating that, and I'm gonna get ready for the shoot, head to my storage, pick up the clothes, and then I'll probably bring you guys for a little bit of the shoot, and then, yeah, so I'll see you guys later. Okay hey guys, so I ended up coming down to the pool and I left my camera upstairs. But it's so hot today. It's like 90 degrees in Atlanta. So it's really hot. And just catching my vibes at the pool right now. So that way I'm not so hot inside. I'm gonna get black because it's very hot. But I'm trying to sit in the shade for a little bit. But yeah. This is what I'm doing, and I'll update you guys when I go back inside, of course. You all see what's going on, so. I am removing my peach fuzz, whatever you want to call it. Mama's dad. I turn up the camera. Yeah, guys, I'm like, I've been doing this for like years. So, today is a self-care day, and this is the first step of the process that I'm gonna go get my hair done, then my lashes, and then my eyebrows done, and then my feet done. So I have so much to do. But I just want to show you guys what I use. Um, this is Sergi Cream. You can get this at Sally's, it's about like $10. I've been using this for years. Like, just gotta put it on, then wipe it off with some warm water on a rag, and you're done. You just leave it on for like five minutes, and then that's it. So, I'm about to take this off, and then I'll see you guys in the next clip. Hey guys, so this is a few, not even a few hours, it's like an hour later after y'all saw me doing what I was doing. Um, I'm heading to my hair appointment, so and it's uh, it's 10.54, I need to be there by 11, but I was supposed to be there at 9.30, I was originally my appointment, and she told me she wanted to push it back to 11.30, and I was like, okay, well can we do like a little bit before 11.30, and she said 11, but you know like after your beautician or whoever like kind of, you know, pushes your appointment back you know how like that kind of just makes you move slower and i actually just had to drop something off of my friend so it's like ugh. now i'm kind of like running late for the 11 o'clock appointment all right get that out the way i'm in a rush oh my camera is sliding i still need to get something to set y'all up up, up here but for right now we're gonna just try to make this work um so I'm about to get my hair done. It is honestly about time. And I'm particularly only getting my hair done today because I wanted to shoot content. But now that my appointments are getting pushed back, I don't know if I can still shoot content today. And that was the main purpose of me even getting my hair done. And I'm going, actually I'm going to a winery on Monday. I don't know if I want to do everything in one blog or separate blogs, but I'm going to a winery on Monday, so I'm definitely trying to get some cute pictures. I want to get like a cute outfit to wear just to give like winery vibes. I've never went like to a winery wine tasting or anything like that, so I'm actually really excited about that. It's like an hour away from the city of Atlanta, so definitely gonna take you guys on me with me on that journey. Um. Yeah, I'm just wearing my little Urban Outfit Outfitters hat because my hair looks crazy. And this little um, lounge active set from Shopper Day NYC. It's in the color yellow. So if you guys want to shop this look, make sure you guys check out my boutique. The link will be in my description box. Um, but yeah, I'm just driving to my hair appointment right now. And once I'm there, I'll check in with you guys with everything. But I know the last time you guys saw me really on the camera was when I was at the pool. I was in the pool swimming, y'all. Like, I can't even swim, but I was trying to learn how to swim. Oh, my God. What the hell is he, are people doing on the road today? Um, Yeah, I was in the pool swimming, so my hair was looking like crazy after I got out that pool. Like, hot mess. So, I'm really happy I'm getting my hair done today because your girl was looking bad. But, um, yeah, I'll see y'all when I get to my appointment. Let me just focus on the road because these people in Atlanta, like I always tell you, they cannot drive and I just don't have time today. I don't have time.
sorry, this color. This is too bright. Right, I'm gonna need to do a dark blue. Like a dark, that's what the day can Talk that shit now, hey. Niggas ain't gotta respect. Niggas just gotta accept. I put that top left. I love my cardi to death. High Williams, no X. If you don't say it, the record, give a fuck. Yo, yo. I put some ice on her hand. I let her take an advance. She wasn't going to plan. I put a shit in the van. She gotta move with a friend. Her she went back to her man. Give a fuck. Put a wagon in the driveway, you know I did when I shoot my <laughs> Woo, this AC is booming, y'all. It's hot. So, I got my hair done. Are we filming the fishtail braid look? I'm sure you guys have seen this look, like, all over social media. Um, so I just had to, like, do it today, and I love it. Um, I'm about to run into Lennox real quick because I want to see if I can find a dress to wear to... The winery that I'm going to on Monday, and I don't have an outfit. Like I need a dress, so I'm gonna see what Zara has. Something last minute that your girl could wear. Um, it's so hot, y'all. It is um 98 degrees in Atlanta. It is crazy, crazy, crazy hot. Like I don't. I'm just trying to be in and out because I'm not trying to sweat out my hair. Cause I do probably want to go out later to get some drinks so I can take a picture. You guys know I need a pick. So um, I'm about to run inside the mall real quick. And then, yeah, that will be it. Um, hopefully, I find a dress because, honey, I'm trying, like I told you earlier, I'm trying to give winery vibes. Like, I'm trying to give, like, those vibes, you know? Okay, guys. So I'm going to dinner. Chayos, it's fine. Thank you. I got my drink. This is the um, lychee cosmos. So good. So I'm gonna um, update you guys a little bit later on how my day went because it was just like a waste of a day in my opinion. Like I really didn't really right back to get some food orders. Okay. Thank you. Oh, can I play the appetizer? Like, yeah, can give me just. Okay. Um. Yeah, the day just kind of felt like a waste because um, when you're getting your hair done and everything and your lashes done, like it kind of takes long, especially when your appointments get pushed back. But it's whatever. Um, I didn't even get my eyebrows done, so I'm gonna just try to get that done tomorrow. But I must just order some food and have this drink that is much needed. And then I'll check in with you guys when I get back in the house because it's loud in here. So we'll check it out. He's trying to do too much hey guys so i literally just got home from what feels like one of the most longest days that i've had in a while like just being outside like i was i left the house i want to say at like 10 something this morning and it's 10 43 p.m and i'm literally just getting in the house but i just wanted to come on camera 
and check in with you guys because we gotta catch up, okay? Um, Bentley is super excited to see me because he's like, girl, you left me in the house all day. Like, are you crazy? Bentley, my baby. Like, if you guys wanna know, like, Bentley is like super attached. Like, we're very attached to each other. Like, we're just really attached. <laughs> but, um, so, quick, real quick, um, as you guys see, like we discussed earlier, your girl's hair is done, my lashes is done, I'm getting my eyebrows done, hopefully tomorrow. Um, tomorrow, actually, I'm going to an appointment with the, orthodont with the orthodontist out here, and he's like a black orthodontist, so I'm really excited about that, you know, support black businesses. Hopefully, he becomes an orthodontist, but we'll see, but your girl has decided to just go to a professional orthodontist to see what my next steps could be. I'm hoping that I could get Invisalign with him. So update, your girl's not doing Smile Direct. I actually called them, I wanna say, today's Wednesday, I actually called them yesterday or on Monday to cancel my whole thing because they took a while. They were supposed to send out my information and like my aligner impressions like of what it would look like within 72 hours. They never sent it and you guys kept commenting on my last two videos basically saying oh don't do it bad reviews there's something in my mouth i'm sorry basically saying there's been like a lot of bad reviews and stuff like that and um i just went to look at the reviews and it was just like a lot of things that just like upset me not upset me but like had me feeling really uneasy about the whole process so i was like you know what i'm not gonna do it because i just don't want to risk doing something that just doesn't work out for me so i'd rather just go to a professional and get it done right the first time so i'm gonna do that and that's what we're doing tomorrow as well as getting my eyebrows done but um yeah i just want to update you guys on that you guys just have been having a lot to say as far as what you guys think i should do and as much as i value all of your opinions um i'm gonna always make my own decision at the end of course like I do appreciate what you guys have to say but sometimes a lot of things that I do see in my comments are just like a little unnecessary and uh, yeah but we we'll just leave it at that and that's what's happening tomorrow so I do want to take you guys off with me on my journey but if I see any more like negative comments I'm just not gonna take you guys because I just don't have time to be like dealing with I don't have the mental capacity to deal with y'all and my real life shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to vlog more and give you guys a little bit more in my vlogs. Like, bring you guys into my day-to-day. -day. But if I feel triggered in any type of way, I'm just going to continue to, you know, build up a wall. And I don't want to do that because I want to, you know, you know, just give you guys more on my channel. But I'm a very, like, private person naturally. I'm, I want to say I'm an introvert. Like, I'm a Leo, like, so only Leos understand how, like, weird, not weird, but different and unique that we are. But I'm trying to get better. But that's what's happening. Um, oh, make sure you guys check out my website for these hats. Check out shopreneanyc.com. These hats, I'm going to put them up on our website tomorrow. So by the time you guys see this video, it'll already be up on my site. Um, I love these hats. I'm going to actually um, style them pretty soon. But I know you guys know how obsessed I was with the ones from Urban. So I made sure to source some of my own to bring to you guys. So the link is going to be in my description box. So make sure you guys check that out. Belly, what else do we have to tell the people? Okay, so this is another thing I have to tell you all too. So I went to Zara today to try to find an outfit to wear to the winery. And it was kind of like a fail, but not really. I'm going to... um insert the video of the options that I did find right here right here so this was cute but um what had happened was the skirt was too big and the top was stained and they were trying to tell me that in order to take the top I would have to it would have to be final sale and the one thing about Zara's policy that I don't like is if an item is damaged in the store, if you do want to continue to buy it, it's final sale. And they don't give no discount off a damaged item, and I don't like that. But, um, 
that was a cute outfit if I do find the correct sizes and a clean top at perimeter tomorrow when I do go that will be the outfit that I wear to the winery but if not I gotta find another outfit and I also tried on this other dress too but I don't know how I feel about that one but yeah guys I'm just chatting at this point I'm like so tired to the point like I'm just blabbering so me and Bentley are gonna get ready for bed like pop pop right oh yeah Bentley's nickname one of his nicknames is pop pop oh no 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 so we're gonna get ready for bed and yeah I'll see you guys tomorrow whoa stop trying to click me in my mouth you know I don't even get down like that Hey guys, good morning. So I'm trying to um wave my hair right now. And I wasn't even gonna vlog, but I literally don't have any pants on right now. So let me just try to fix the angle. I just literally put this top on so I can show you guys what I'm doing. So I'm trying to like wave up my hair, like my hairstyles did yesterday, and I don't know if I am getting it like this is the side that's not done this is the side that i'm doing but i know how to curl hair but the way this new little wave technique i've been kind of struggling with so i'm trying to like figure it out right now because i do like it and i need to learn asap i'm gonna keep the end down and twist it back up but yeah guys good morning so i'm trying to do like a content day today after i ship all my orders because i have to do content that has to go in the beginning of this video and i also just want to get some content from my tiktok and my instagram so one thing about like creating content that i'm learning like more and more the more i get more invested into it like as a content creator you really have to plan out your content you really have to make days to create content like this is not like I know people probably look at people that do content YouTube and be like, oh, it's probably so easy just recording. No, there's actually like a lot that goes into it behind the scenes that I never, you know, thought of or knew of before. What y'all think about this? I think this is actually perfect. Let me not touch that. Because I do want like the soft waves in between as well. So how are we looking y'all i feel like it looks decent so let me try to tackle this side but yeah like i was telling you guys like there is a lot that goes into it like there's deadlines and all these things and this month i had a few brand deals that i had to get done and it's just like i really had to sit down and plan like hey how am i gonna do this how am i gonna do that about all these things so if you guys are interested in entering the content creation space let's do it y'all but just know it's not it's not hard but it takes a lot of effort and creativity and just time so i'm trying to invest more time into my craft and i know you guys are in the comments like girl you've been giving us consistent vlogs yes because i really enjoy youtube and I know there's times when I take breaks and stuff like that. And honestly, those are just like mental breaks that I feel like I need like at that moment. But other than that, like I do enjoy YouTube. So I want to stay consistent with YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and not let any of the three slack. So make sure you guys follow me on all three of my platforms. My links will be in the description box to my Instagram, TikTok. And of course, if you're watching on YouTube, just make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. But um, like I told you guys last night, today I am going to an orthodontist. So that appointment is at 3.30 today. It's 10.22. So I have more than enough time to do a little one-two for my content and then still make it there on time. So I'm going to walk in that office. He's going to be like, girl, you are all dressed up. Yeah, because I'm going to look cute today. Like, it's hot in Atlanta. The weather is nice. Like, I feel like every day is an opportunity to look your best. Like, I'm trying to make that my mindset because sometimes I just be looking so crazy. But when my hair is done, 
I'm gonna make sure I take advantage of those days where I look my best because you never know who you can meet. And is it just me or do people treat you better when you look better? Like they believe that you're somebody or whatever, whatever. You know, like I feel like the treatment is so much different when you um, look real good. Like for example, when I go to Sephora, if my makeup's not done, they want to try to, oh, you need this, you need that. Like, girl, I know how to do my makeup. Versus when you have your makeup done, they're like, oh, yeah, girl, you got it. You don't need help. Like, I feel like everybody needs to stop judging a book by its cover and just treat people the way you want to be treated. I don't think anybody should be having special treatment because of how they look or how many followers they have or all these things. Like, we are all, like, regular people, like, living a regular life. Like, seriously. But that's just how I feel. People definitely get treated based on their their appearance. I see it happen all the time. But um, okay, it's giving very like bohemian vibes. Like I feel like if I was ever going to Coachella, this would be the hairstyle because like the braid and stuff is just so effortless. And I don't know if I told you guys this is a U part wig. Um, I think I did tell you guys this, but my hairstylist has been trying to get me to try this for the longest. And she was like, girl, we're doing it this time. You don't need a sew-in. It looks the same. And it really looks the same as a sew-in. It's so crazy. Like, I did not think I would like this so much. It's, like, very effortless. Oh, yeah, hair is provided by Blink Beauty. So make sure you guys check my um, description box for the link to the hair as well. Okay, y'all. So let me finish curling my hair, and then we'll do a fit check, and then y'all can let me know what y'all think about my outfit. But in the meantime, I'll put my camera on the charger because I need to go get another battery for this charger, like a backup battery. Like I definitely gotta invest into that because this camera dies way too fast. Yeah. 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 to the storage and stuff. Um, what are you doing? Are you working? Yeah, I'm only going to be when I'm done. I'm going and try to do some straighten up upstairs because they're almost done. The, the deck is done. Only one more railing has to go up and then the roof has to finish. Okay. So Uncle Patrick's there? No, he going to, he going to Orlando. So who's doing it? The other guys? Nobody is there today. Okay. But you just, that's why you just... <laughs> these pictures that I just took oh my god they are too good wait till these hit the gram let me tell you something I wanted to take this picture since yesterday when I first got my hair done but obviously my hair appointment got like extended and I had to do my lashes late or whatever so 
my first original aesthetic for these pictures was in a coffee shop. Like, I was going to have somebody take my pictures in a coffee shop. And I'm sorry I'm talking so loud right now, but this is just, like, a confirmation for me right now. Like, I don't need anybody's help to make things happen for me because I was so dependent on my friends to take my pictures, and then they had to go to work, da 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 I just set my tripod up, and I just got the pictures of my freaking dreams, like, like, I swear, these pictures are so good. I'm going to show you guys a few of them. I mean, by the time you guys watch this vlog, they will already be on my Instagram. But, like, they fit the look I'm going for. Like, my new little aesthetic that I'm trying to have, like, on my Instagram. Like, oh, look at the brave detail in this picture. Like, all I had to do was set up my tripod. And then I just made it happen with myself. So, I'm, like, really happy. And you guys are probably like, Shane, that's not that serious. But... If I didn't just do this, I probably would have delayed the content another day and another day and just waiting on people. And no, I need to chase my dreams and make shit happen now. Not tomorrow, not later. Like, I want to show you guys one of my favorites that I took. Oh my god, these pictures are so good. I'm just going to post them today because I swear, I'm about to be a tripod baddie from here on out. Like, like look at this. Are you guys see oh holy. Are you guys seeing the details of these pictures? Like it's clear. They're cr Ooh! Honey, don't play with that girl. I'm taking my content so much more seriously these days. Like y'all don't see it on the gram, so make sure you guys are following me on Instagram. Like I just wanted to come on camera and say that. Like, do not wait on people, whether it's to travel, take your content, start a business, anything, because you'll just never start and never get things done. And you'll be so surprised how much you can accomplish on your own. So that's I know that's a word for somebody, and I just wanted to say it. And I know I, I know speaking it, you guys will probably think I'm being dramatic, but I know somebody needs to hear this. So if you're laying on your bed right now, you got something to do, go do that shit, girl, because you can make it happen by yourself. You don't need anybody else to make your dreams happen. So I just got I have to say that, but I got to go now. Bye. Hey, guys. So it's a few hours later. Um, I'm trying to make this turn. So, girl, it's 3.09. I have the orthodontist appointment at 3.30. But, of course, your girl just has to cut it close. I just want to try to, what are you doing? Like these people out here, like you have a stop sign, relax. I go wait. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I'm just trying to drop these packages off to the post office real quick so that way, if my appointment runs over, I don't have to rush to try to get to a post office. So I'm dropping off these orders real quick and then I'm gonna get to my appointment. So I just wanted to update you guys on what I was doing. But yeah, um, let me hurry up and drop these orders. I'm in the parking lot now for where the post office is. And then I'll see you guys when I'm on my way to the orthodontist, girl. I just got all my scans done and now I'm waiting to see the doctor. I'm kind of trying to sneak to vlog because I don't know if I can record in here. So I'll update you guys in the car. <laughs> Alright, hey guys. So update. I just came to pick up some shoes from my cousin from the Hermes store. I left my orthodontist appointment about like an hour ago. So it's been a little while. I'm trying to get some food now because I'm hungry. But I just want to update you guys because my appointment went really, really well. And I'm excited to start this new journey. Um, so it's crazy because the den the orthodontist actually said that Invisalign will, are, is going to give me the results that I want better than braces. So I'm like super, super excited about that because I did not want no metal on my teeth. Like, mm-mm. And I'm actually happy that I did not do the small direct thing because honestly, after I went to him and he did my x-rays and stuff like that, he really just broke down exactly how each, each tooth is going to move. And 
if I would have did that on my own with Smile Direct, I would have really regretted it because certain things are just not supposed to move in certain ways, obviously, without professional, um, professional, what's the word I'm looking for, like professional supervision. So I'm really happy that I decided just not to do that. Thanks to you guys in the comments with your two cents that you always got to leave for me. I love that sometimes because some of them you know, some of the comments you wrote but whatever um but other than that i'm really excited about this journey i just have to get a recommendation from an oral surgeon for one thing but other than that oh, my camera just it's not focusing but yeah after i get that recommendation i'm just gonna start my journey so your girl wants to have a new smile soon guys wait on it wait on it i'm really excited um Cause I've been needing to do this for like a little minute, so I'm happy that I'm actually taking the time to do it now. And um, hopefully, I get some food now because I'm really, really hungry. Um, I just got my outfit for the winery that I showed you guys in the previous clips. So hopefully, um, my outfit gives what it needs to give. And I don't know if I want to wear it with heels or sandals. That's the next thing I gotta figure out. I just want to give like very effortless wine tasting flowy dress skirt vibes you know i feel like wineries have like a particular aesthetic so i'm definitely trying to just be within that like aesthetic of that look um yeah i don't know if i have anything else to tell you guys like i'm just kind of here right now i'm trying to kill time before my cousin until my cousin gets here because she's bringing me the stuff from Zara at Perimeter. So what happened was I was on, I was downtown and she was like in Dunwoody Perimeter area. So I'm like, okay, can you stop at Zara and see if Zara has what I need? And I'll stop at her meds and pick up your stuff and then we'll just meet in the middle. Because she has to come to Lenox Mall. So I'm just going to go meet her over there and problem solved we don't have to do all the back and forth because i didn't want to just i didn't want to drive over there anyway honestly like perimeter is like so far from my house and it's just driving over there it's like the other side of the earth so happy we got that done i think i'm about to just try to get a salad in the meantime before i get food later if i get food later because i want to go out to eat but if i don't i need something to eat now because your girl is hungry okay so just wanted to update you guys i just been giving you guys updates all throughout this vlog but i'm debating if i want to um do a separate vlog for the winery thing or just add it to this vlog but i think i might just do separate because you know i'm trying to keep these like consistent vlogs for y'all and y'all have been really enjoying the vlogs so comment below and let me know what you guys have been enjoying more about these vlogs versus my previous ones because you guys have really been engaging a lot with these last two vlogs that I've hosted and I really appreciate that thank you guys so much it's so crazy because I just came on the YouTube app and your girl's at 18,995 subscribers so we're hitting 19,000 subscribers tonight period like oh my god it's about time roll to 20k we are coming we are coming <sighs> when am I gonna hit 100k like, I'm not rushing it. I know what's going to happen soon. I just, that's, like, really, like, a goal of mine for YouTube. I really want that YouTube plaque. Like, I want it so bad. <laughs> so, it's coming soon. But, anyways, I'll update you with whatever happens next throughout the day. Because I'm just waiting on my cousin now. I'm about to just drive to Lenox. And then, yeah, I'll see y'all later. Mm, then they got it's my first time, bro. He Shayna Shayna's dog is in heat. Melly, why are you Yo, looking at Kyra? You know that he was licking my feet and stuff, y'all. <laughs> this dog is crazy. <gasps> y'all shaving down here with this horny ass dog. <laughs> hey y'all. So, it's the next day, and I just came on camera real quick because I wanted to test out this thing I saw, like, on TikTok, and I have the camera zoomed in because I was too lazy to find a, a shirt, and I'm naked. So, I have my micellar cleansing water, and I have a cotton pad. 
So I've been seeing girls, well the girls, put this on their thing, right? Just like this. Put some. And then they put it to their mouth and look, look. Do y'all see that foam? Are you seeing this? Hold on. Oh, come on, camera. Focus. The camera's not focusing, y'all. But the shit, like, foams up. Like, I can't explain it. Like, what? I'm about to do another one so y'all can see. Because I was too lazy to do, like, a full skincare routine. So the days when I don't want to do a full skincare routine, I just use the micellar water. But when I saw that on TikTok, I was like, what? Like, I didn't know that could happen. But, um, I'm just getting ready to go get my nails and my um, toes done and my eyebrows done. It's actually late in the day. Like, this morning I woke up and I was lit, okay? I was lit. Kyra came over last night and she brought wine. So we were just drinking wine and we had pizza. And this morning I woke up like, what the fuck? But look. This one was way better. Can y'all see that? That's crazy. Oh my god. That's crazy. Like, what? It's like all phoned up. I didn't believe it was real, but it actually happened. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just putting this nice little water on my skin, just wiping any, like, you know, dirt that might have been on my face. And I'm just prepping my skin for the day. I'm not, I don't think I'm wearing any makeup today. And when I put on my cellar border, I just like to fan it so it could just like dry into my skin. And then that's when I add like my other like skincare products. But do not sleep on my cellar border. Like that shit really works. Like after, like typically if I remove my makeup, I use my Nicodina pads and then I go in with the my cellar border after. And then I wash my face because. I feel like my cellar water is just like it cleans, really cleans out the dirt. Seriously. Like what? Look at my skin. The category is skin. But yeah, y'all. Um, we are approaching the end of this vlog. I'll take you guys with me today for whatever I do today. But after that, I'm gonna start editing this vlog tomorrow. And I'll probably try to have it up on Monday. But Monday, like I told you guys, your girl's going to the winery, so that'll be like in a separate vlog so look out for that content is on the way next um and yeah hopefully you know i have a good time i know i'm gonna be lit like wine one thing about me like i don't mind drinking like liquor hard liquor but i feel like wine gets me where i need to be way better than like casamigos or like any type of liquor like wine wine is like i might give you a baby you know off the wine like that's how wine makes me feel like if you agree comment below especially red wine please it's over demon time <laughs> seriously but regular liquor mm. It don't really do it for me. But I'm about to style my hair. And I'll come back on camera once I put some clothes on, alright? Hey, y'all. I am I was rushing out the house. I didn't even grab no sunglasses. But my outfit is this little chrome heart tank dress with my black Rick Owens and my um, little Chanel. But no glasses. And my hair is just like clipped up in a claw clip. Um, Because I didn't know what to do with my hair. And it's hot. So I didn't want it on me. I must just head to nail salon. I don't know why I got look so cute to go to nail salon, but I'm trying to like learn how to just not think that. Um, let me not say I'm trying to learn because I already know. But oh shit! My bad. I'm trying to realize that it don't take having to go to a special event or something to just look cute. Like you should really look your best at all times, every time, every day. So that's kind of just what I've been on recently and yeah i want to look cute today so i'm gonna look cute that's just what's gonna happen um so yeah i'm in buckhead right now I'm about to drive i think to sandy springs to do my nails i think that's where i'm gonna go so 
like I don't know what color I'm gonna do because I've just been doing gel polish I haven't been doing anything um like nails like I told you guys before all right sir turn your car let's go so um yeah I really don't even matter what nail salon I go to because if you, you really cannot mess up gel polish like SNS I'm a little more picky about but like a gel polish is like come on that's like the basic but actually I might get SNS today because I don't know how good they do their gel polish here actually some people I'm not gonna lie they be using cheap gel polish and they be chipping so I don't want my nails to chip but I'm driving there now and I need to hurry up because I'm getting hungry and stuff it's 6 14 like I'm having such a late start to my day it's crazy oh, forget it forget it just forget it just forget it because you're feeding you're feeding I think I need to do like a driving segment on my channel where y'all just watch me drive because I swear I'm cursing somebody out every day on the road. Like it's so funny. So I definitely am due for some TLC to my brows and I know it's gonna hurt because every time I get my eyebrows done after taking too long it hurts like seriously a lot I tell all my hoes break it up break it down back it up fuck 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 it up I'm a bust it open 